Three-year-old Tully Trotters are coming onto the track for the $100,000 Ohio Sire Stakes Championship leg for them. Exact is in tries. Presenting your field, ranking second in this field with career earnings of 111,000 plus and a career best 158 and one win at Northfield. Number one is Candy and Chips. Owned by Jerry Ross Sr., trained by Jerry Ross, Dave Hawk is up. This next daughter of Armbro Iliad returns to the site of her last winning performance, a two minute and one lifetime best mile. Number two is Summer Dash, owned by Doug Neely, trained by Mark Gillenwater, and driven by Ron Pierce. On race to two, this filly has made up for lost time this year with an impressive 7-9-1 and one record in 25 starts. Number three is the Virgil Morgan Jr. trained sackcloth. Owned by the partnership of Moore, Easter Day and Reed, Walter Case Jr. is driving. This next filly brings a three-race win streak into this event that includes a world record 154 and three mile right here at Scioto Downs. With five wins on the season, number four is striking memory. She is owned by Thomas Ewart Jr., trained by Jim Arledge Jr., and driven by Del S. Miller. This consistent daughter of striking Sabra was a standout in her division at two, finishing no worse than second in 13 tries. Combined with her earnings this season, she has banked over $127,000 in her career. Number five is Swing and a Miss, owned by John Michael and Lucy Catrone, trained by John Catrone, the driver Jeff Fout. Second to swing Animus in career earnings and leading this field in seasonal earnings, this filly scored a breathtaking 154 and four world record win at Northfield in July. Number six is Sturdy Lori. She's owned by Neil Bauer and Betty Bauer, trained by Brian Mackey and driven by Brett Miller. A five-time winner at three with a 159 mark at Scioto Downs. Number seven is the striking cyber filly Tiffany Opal, owned by James Morrow, trained by Jim Arledge Jr., the driver David Miller. A three-time winner this season, this Marty Willem trained filly returns to the races after a strong two-minute and two prep here at Scioto Downs. Number eight, I'm Hunky Dory, owned by the Nuffset Stables and driven by Chip Noble. That's your field for the fifth race. Post time in six minutes. Set to go in the championship final of the three-year-old Philly Trot. There, off. It was a slow start for I'm Hunky Dory. She spotted the field about three lengths at the get-go, and there goes Striking Memory heading straight to the front, followed by Sackcloth racing in second position. Up on the outside, Sturdy Lori is trotting on early from third, and Candy and Chips is at the pylons in fourth by two. Next in fifth, it's Summer Dash, followed by Swing Animus, a two-length separation to Tiffany Opal, and I'm Hunky Dory after the slow beginning is the trailer as Striking Memory leads the field to the top of the stretch by the opening quarter in a fast 27 and 1. Passing the stands for the first time. Striking memory leads it by two. Sackcloth second. Sturdy Lori jumped it off. She is off stride. Trying to get back on gate. She is now back trotting, but at least 12 lengths off the lead. They race into the clubhouse turn. Striking memory leads by a two-length margin. Sackcloth is second by two and a half. Candy and Chips is third. Summer Dash from the inside is fourth by a length and a half. Racing at the pylons in fifth is Swing Enemies. Sturdy Lori trying to get back into gear. She's gaining ground on the outside, but she's still seven lengths out of it. And then we get Tiffany Opal and I'm Hunky Dory. They're a half and a solid 56 and two. They're trotting down the back stretch. Striking memory remains unopposed on the front end. She leads by two lengths with less than three-eighths of a mile left to travel. Sackcloth drafts in second. Candy and Chips third. Sturdy Laurie has progressed into fourth. She's still got four to make up, but she is closing ground. Summer Dash is back to fifth. With live cover, Tiffany Opal is on the outside, followed by Swing and a Miss, and I'm Hunky Dory, but it's striking memory by three quarters in 125 and two. Striking memory sets sail for home with a three-length lead. Sackcloth having trouble keeping up with her. Sturdy Laurie is going to have to do much more. Then it's Tiffany Opal and Candy and Chips as they straighten away but it's the world record holding Philly striking memory she's built up a five length advantage and they're not going to catch her striking memory wins the championship final of the three year old Philly trot in one 54 and three finishing second with sackcloth photo for show between sturdy Lori and Tiffany Opal and she ties the world record she set here at Sion striking memory 
She has just scored her sixth victory in 10 attempts on the season. She equals the world record she set here at Scioto Downs of 154 and three in scoring for Thomas York Jr., her winning owner, Jim Arledge Jr., her winning trainer, and Del S. Miller, her winning driver. Striking memory is a three-year-old daughter of Striking Sabra for Memory Park by Arnie's Exchange. In the winner's circle, helping to make the presentation to the winning connections, executive director of the Ohio State Racing Commission, Mr. Clifford Nelson. Here's your rundown. Candy and Chip 7th, Summer Dash 5th, Sackcloth 2nd, Striking Memory the winner, Swing and a Miss was 8th, Sturdy Laurie 3rd, Tiffany Opal 4th, I'm Hunky Dory 6th, Seven, five, two, one, eight, three, four, and a six. Coming up next is the sixth race, the three-year-old Philly Pace final with no changes, exact as in tries. Fourteen minutes at nine twenty-four. And John Pavlock with Striking Memories winning training. Whenever she comes out of the gate trot and she just goes about her business. And there was just no doubt about it. Dell drove her like she was a three to five or whatever she went off at. It was, and just go right to the top. No trouble for her. Oh, it's always nervous when you're watching her leave the gate and stuff. But like I say, after she gets out of there, it's pretty well relaxed to watch a race. Looking back and some of her lines are going back a few weeks. She had some problems making breaks. What's different then than now? I think she's matured a little more now, got a little more racing under her, and now she's starting to settle down some. Good size filly, she seems to be. Yeah, she's a real good size filly. She's a flawless gated trotter. You couldn't ask her to trot any nicer than that. A half mile track, I presume, down at Delaware is the next quarry, and uh, you think that'll fit her well? Yeah, I don't think that'll bother her anymore now that she's settling down some, and uh, we'll just see how things go at Delaware. You know, I know the people in Europe are probably uh, knowing uh, what this is uh, uh, means to her, and. Uh, Will she go to uh, Lexington for a, a shot at a uh, faster world record on a mile track? Yeah, we're going to go to Lexington. We put her in a couple late closers down there, and if everything goes right, we're thinking maybe supplement her into Kentucky Futurity. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, they're coming out for our very next race. Let's go back upstairs for the parade to post.